Jennifer Hudson has never strayed far from her Chicago roots, despite a meteoric rise to fame and even Oscar gold. She is still the Southside girl with the voice that can rock the rafters. You're strong and you're smart. You've taken my heart and I give you the rest of me too. Jennifer! Jennifer! A child of Inglewood, Hudson's first audiences were at church and Dunbar Academy. She was a girl full of dreams long before the red carpets, awards, and movies. Elimination from American Idol and the disdain of Simon Cowell, just a minor detour on the way to Jennifer's destiny. Just know that anything is possible. It doesn't matter where you're from. I love you too. Just a week after Hudson won an Oscar for stealing the spotlight in Dreamgirls, she brought her golden boy home to Dunbar. I just wanted to bring it here for you all to see because if, it's it, if you can see it, you can achieve it. Jennifer is seen here with her proud mother during a tribute at the Chicago Theater just a year and a half ago. The performer has a condo in Chicago and has remained in the embrace of her close-knit family. But I'm so grateful to have my mother here celebrating with me. So when I go home, I just want to go to my mama's house and do nothing. <laughs> I love coming back to my hometown, to my high school, to my neighborhoods, anywhere where I come from, because that's what it's about. Life's not as bad as it may seem if you open your eyes to what's in front of you. I thank you all for helping me keep the faith, even when I didn't believe. Thank you, and God bless you all. Hudson was in Tampa vacationing with her fiancé when she got the call this afternoon. Found another family member fatally shot. The family member had arrived home, backed out of the house, and notified the police. Once the police arrived, a second victim was found fatally shot in the house as well. The first victim was a female found in the living room, living room floor with a fatal gunshot wound. The second victim was a male subject found in the bedroom with a fatal gunshot wound. Currently, we're looking for a 1994 white suburban vehicle that's missing from the location, as well as a seven-year-old male African-American child uh, that has already been provided to the media. Uh, the investigation is very preliminary right now. The uh, crime lab personnel are still on the scene gathering evidence and uh, we're looking into it. We have some promising leads right now, but it's very preliminary right now. Can you tell us anything about the man you're seeking at this time, Mr. Balfour? We, we don't have any information on that right now. Well, he's been described in an Amber Alert as armed and dangerous. We're looking for a subject that may have been here. Uh, I don't have a lot of information on that subject right now. How can people help you right now? Anybody that knows uh, the whereabouts of the seven-year-old, his name is Julian King. He's seven years old, male, African-American, as well as the white suburban, 1994 suburban vehicle. The plate has already been provided to the media. Sir, what's Julian's relationship to the uh, family? The seven-year-old, we believe, is the grandson of the female victim that was fatally wounded. Can you identify positively the victim? And I cannot at this time. Can you tell us, do you believe there's any connection between what happened here and a stolen car report from a couple of weeks ago from Jennifer Hudson's sister? No, I cannot. Is there any indication of when they were shot? We're not sure. Uh, neighbors in the neighborhood did report hearing gunshots sometime earlier this morning, about 8, 9 o'clock this morning. Is there any sign of forced entry into the home or anything? No, there was no sign of any forced entry. Uh, we're not sure if anything's missing from the house. Has Jennifer Hudson been Thank you. That was uh, Area 2 Deputy Chief Joseph Patterson giving us an update uh, on the investigation at this point. Obviously, the important consideration for them right now is the Amber Alert regarding seven-year-old Julian King. We want to give you the information regarding the vehicle that they believe that uh, Jason, uh, that Mr. King uh, may be in. Uh, that would be a 1994 white Suburban with a license plate X584859. That license plate, we should mention, is registered to Jason Hudson. That is Jennifer Hudson's brother, 
he lived in this home, we are told. He is one of the two victims whose body was found inside this home. Uh, once again, the license plate X584859. There is a large crowd of neighbors and certainly an awful lot of police here. Uh, an awful lot of family members, Hudson family members, are also gathered uh, to one side of this waiting information. We're told that Jennifer Hudson, the Academy winning, uh, award winning actress, is in Tampa right now and has been notified and is on her way back home as well. She was just here as it was last weekend receiving an award from the International Film Festival. Uh, this family well known in this Inglewood neighborhood. Jennifer Hudson grew up here. We've talked to uh, a number of people who are gathered here. Obviously a tremendous amount of concern and we'd like to hear from one of them if we could. That's something that is baffling me. Who would do that when they wasn't even no mean people or nothing like that, you know? Uh, uh, when he barbecued, when they barbecue in front of the house, they it, it'd be a lot of barbecue for everybody, you know, just fun, just sitting out, just hanging out all the time, just hanging out in front of the house. It'd just be fun. I mean, Jason was a good person. His mom was, too. Okay, this is a picture, I believe, of Julian King, the seven-year-old that police have issued the Amber Alert for. They, again, are looking for him, and they are looking for the vehicle, which... Uh, was believed to have been stolen from this residence. Uh, that vehicle registered to Jason Hudson. That is the update for right now from what we are hearing from police. Obviously a very fluid situation and much more to come on the investigation. We will have information as it becomes available. For now, live in Ingle with John Garcia, ABC 7 News. Robbie Karen, back to you. John, all right, thank you for that update. Jennifer Hudson is a member of the Progressive Baptist Church on the South Side. She's been very involved in that church. Her mother also attended there. And a cousin is the music director. ABC 7's Ben Bradley is there live tonight. Ben? Ron, Jennifer Hudson's personal publicist this evening will only confirm what police are already saying. But here on the city's South Side, where Hudson's work ethic and talent certainly need no publicity, there is disbelief that this could happen to two of this young star's loved ones. When Jennifer Hudson's voice lit up this church last year, her mom was in the front pew, reveling in her daughter's success. I think every parent wants to see their child accomplish their dream. And uh, such a tragedy, but at least her mother got to see her reach heights that were just phenomenal. One week later, Jennifer Hudson won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, and once again shared the spotlight with her family. While her daughter's career took off, Darnell Hudson Donerson kept the family's roots firmly planted in Inglewood. Just last month, Jennifer Hudson was asked about her mother's early influence. A song which reminds me of my mother. Oh, wow. Someone that she would always play and you think, gosh. Oh, yes. Uh, Temptations. Uh, could have been anything that you want to. I can tell you. The way you do the things you do, like the Temptations. She would always sing that to us. Tonight, Hudson's fans can't believe tragedy is tainting an Inglewood success story. Every time we see a person going about it from Chicago, so something, something always happening. My heart just sank. Um, I was very sad for her, especially the loss of her mom and her brother at the same time. Hudson's cousin is actually the music director here at Progressive Baptist Church. He was scheduled to have a choir rehearsal for a group of children here when he got the news about the shootings. Now a congregation that has shared so much joy with Jennifer Hudson's family prepares to help them mourn. Live on the city's south side, Ben Bradley, ABC 7 News. Cheryl. All right, Ben, thank you for that report. John indicated we do not know and we cannot confirm whether a suspect is in custody. We do know that the suspect in the case has a criminal background. ABC 7's Karen Jordan is here now with more on what we know about William Balfour. Karen. Well, Cheryl and Ron, Hill, here is what we know about William Balfour. He is the husband of Jennifer Hudson's older sister. They've been married about a year and a half. Balfour is 27 years old, 5 feet 8 inches tall and about 150 pounds. He sometimes wears his hair in a braid. In braids, Balfour has an extensive criminal history. Records with the Illinois Department of Corrections show that he spent nearly 7 years in prison 
for attempted murder, vehicular hijacking, and possessing a stolen vehicle. His last arrest was in June, although authorities would not say what he was arrested for. He is out on parole now, and Balfour is not the father of the missing child, seven-year-old Julian King. The police alert calls him a suspect in today's double homicide, and they believe that he is armed and dangerous. Now, while there are reports that Balfour is in custody, police will not confirm that, and they're still asking people to call Area 1 Special Victims Unit. If you have any information as to his whereabouts, that number is 312-747-8385. Again, that number, 312-747-8385. Now, Ron and Cheryl, again, police called Balfour a suspect in the case, but he has not been charged. All right, thanks very much, Karen. And the Hudsons have been an active member of their community for years. Neighbors speak highly of them, many of them united today, to launch their own search for Julian King and to offer their condolences for the deaths of Darnell Donerson and Jason Hudson. My prayers are with you, Jennifer. Phyllis Williams echoes the sentiments of the neighborhood when she expresses her shock. She's among those who felt compelled to stop by the Hudson family home today. Many dropped off stuffed animals, balloons, or just left a note behind. Relatives, including the stepmother of Jennifer, Jason, and Julia Hudson, are deeply concerned about the disappearance of seven-year-old Julian King and are praying for his safe return. I don't understand it. You know, he, you know, seven years old. But he's the type of child he wouldn't know, you know. But I'm just praying the Lord. The Lord will, he'll answer prayer. He'll send him home. Jennifer Hudson is used to the spotlight and being followed by cameras. But for her relatives, this experience is a struggle. Just let me go, please. whole family was Christian people. Um, little Julian, very intellect, very smart child. Very smart, exceptionally smart. I think he had asthma, though. I'm worried about him if he had his coat on or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. Look like somebody, anybody, whoever, just let him go. Neighbors aren't waiting around for police to find the little boy. They're launching their own search and calling on others to help. This is an issue that has touched us all. The Hudson's family is a stable family in this community, and we want to show them and we're still trying to find that kid. This is a senseless murder, but you see the whole neighborhood has came together each day, and we are out here every day, you know, supporting one another. The Amber Alert for Julian King is still in effect. Anyone who's seen a white 1994 Chevy Suburban with Illinois license plate X584859 is urged to call police. Jennifer Hudson has not spoken publicly about the shootings and disappearance. We'll have the latest developments in the story on our website, abc7chicago.com, and on our next local newscast at 6 in the morning. SUV that police had been searching for in that case was found early this morning on the city's west side. The body of a young boy was found inside that vehicle. The body has not been identified yet. Jennifer Hudson's nephew, seven-year-old Julian King, has not been seen since Hudson's mother and brother were found dead inside their home on the south side Friday. ABC 7's Dan Ponte is live with the latest on that. Dan? Sylvia, important to note, as you mentioned, that the body has not been identified, but the outlook is certainly grim for the Hudson family. According to early reports from the medical examiner's office, the description matches that of seven-year-old Julian King. But again, his identity has not been confirmed. It was just before 9 o'clock this morning when police towed away the white SUV. They've been looking for uh, the vehicle that belongs to Jennifer Hudson's brother, Jason, who was killed along with their mother on Friday. The body of a child was found on the floor of the back seat. Uh, the medical examiner's office says that the, uh, the body is that of an African-American boy. Uh, there is an active, active police investigation underway at this hour. Uh, police blocked off about two city blocks here near the uh, intersection of 13th and Colon on Chicago's west side. Seven-year-old uh, Julian King has been missing since Friday. Uh, after uh, Jennifer Hudson's mother and brother were found shot to death. Police, uh, as you'll recall, issued an amber alert. This morning, police got a call about a suspicious vehicle matching the description. When officers arrived here this morning, they found the body of a boy inside. Police have not released many details about the investigation and have not said when or how long the SUV has been here. And there's been a lot of discrepancies among the neighbors here. But most of the neighbors I spoke with this morning say they only noticed it this morning. That van had to just get there. 
because I drive this strip every day. I'm just right on that corner. And the band had to get there this morning. It had to. You didn't see it before? No, it was not there. It was definitely not there. Detectives have been combing every inch of this crime scene this morning. Keep in mind that the crime scene from Friday, where Jennifer Hudson's mother and brother were found shot to death, is on the south side. This crime scene is on the west side, and it is only about 15 blocks from the home where William Belfour was arrested on Friday. You'll recall that uh, William Belfour is the estranged husband of Julia Hudson, uh, Jennifer's sister. He was taken into custody on Friday. Named a perf- He was named a person of interest, uh, but so far he has not been charged. He was handed over to the Department of Corrections for a parole violation. Again, important to note that the body of the boy has not been identified. Police are planning an update in a news conference later this afternoon at police headquarters. Live on the West Side, Dan Ponce, ABC 7 News. Linda, back to you. Dan, thank you. Prayers and support tonight outside the Hudson family home as word spreads that Jennifer Hudson's nephew was also killed, along with her mother and brother. The body of seven-year-old Julian King was discovered this morning inside an SUV stolen from the Hudson home. Jennifer Hudson identified her nephew's body this afternoon. The SUV was found at 1313 South Colon Avenue, which is about 15 blocks from the West Side home, where a person of interest was arrested on Friday. We have two live reports tonight, but we begin with ABC 7's Kevin Roy. He's live at Chicago Police Headquarters. Kevin. Kathy, it is hard to imagine the depth of the heartbreak for Jennifer Hudson and the rest of her family tonight. Their worst fears realized today that seven-year-old Julian King, missing since Friday, was indeed dead. This afternoon, they had the grim task of identifying his body, and we are told that Jennifer Hudson was the strong leader of her family. Oscar-winning actress Jennifer Hudson led her family to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office this afternoon for the second time in three days. Inside, the family chose to identify seven-year-old Julian King on a video screen that showed his face. Obviously distraught, uh, but remarkably, Jennifer Hudson was incredibly strong for her family, and it was very apparent that she was the leader within that group that kept the composure. An Amber Alert issued on Friday after Hudson's mother, Darnell Donerson, and her brother, Jason, were found shot to death in their Englewood home, came to end this morning with the discovery of the white SUV parked at 1313 South Colon. Lynette Loudon says she wondered all weekend about the SUV parked in front of her home. After seeing news reports that police were searching for such a vehicle, she told her husband to write down the license plate number. He went outside and he went and looked at the license plates and it matched what was on the TV. She called 911 and police found Julian King's body in a rear seat. Police say he was shot. The SUV, which was registered to Jason Hudson, was found on the west side about two miles from the 1900 block of South Spaulding, where on Friday night, police arrested 27-year-old William Balfour, the estranged husband of Julia Hudson, mother of Julian King. Police continue to call Balfour a person of interest in the killings. Tonight, they were back at the Hudson home in Englewood, using metal detectors on the yard and searching inside the house again as well. Police Superintendent Jody Weiss says he's confident the case will be solved. I suspect that we'll have some evidence that will link us to the killer. Now, William Balfour has not been charged in this case. Over the weekend, he was transferred to a state prison facility for violating the conditions of his parole. He was convicted in 1999 for attempted murder. Tomorrow morning, an autopsy will be performed on the body of seven-year-old Julian King. Live at police headquarters on the south side, Kevin Roy, ABC 7 News. Ron? Kevin, the Hudson home has attracted crowds of people touched by this tragedy. A vigil held there tonight was one of several gatherings arranged to show support for the Hudson family. ABC 7's John Garcia is live there. John? No question, Ron, that people all over the city have been touched by this tragedy. Police have been out here all night, not only, as Kevin said, continuing their investigation, but also doing some crowd control. Hundreds of people have stopped by this home to pay their respects, all of them touched by this family tragedy. They come from all over, bringing items of remembrance. Most have never met anyone in the Hudson family, but they are moved by the family's tragedy. I just felt I had to do something. I had to do something. This is a sad day. You know, all the young people getting killed out here, 
and I got children of my own, so it kind of touched me. Well, that's why I want to come out here and show my support. <laughs> the sign across the street at the church says it all. And in front of the family home, the scene of at least two of the homicides, the mound of flowers, candles, and stuffed animals grows as people stop by to pay their respects. Some view these murders as a high-profile example of a neighborhood epidemic of violence. We've just been praying for them. I mean, it just felt like family to us. Just because you think I'm right. They sing and pray and come together, hoping to send their wishes of condolences to the surviving members of the family. Many in the Hudson family, meantime, attend private prayer services at Pleasant Gift Missionary Baptist Church. And at the west side scene where police found the body of seven-year-old Julian King and his uncle's SUV, more people gather by candlelight to offer their prayers. I feel like a part of me has been um, taken from me because of it's so close to home. Well, many of the people who have come by the family home to mourn and offer remembrances have followed the media reports related to Jennifer Hudson, of course, the Academy Award-winning singer and actress. There are also some very personal notes, however, from people who were friends and very close to the three victims individually, three victims who are all members of this community and this neighborhood. Live in Inglewood, John Garcia, ABC 7 News. Kathy, back to you. Thanks, John. At Julian King's elementary school, students and teachers had to deal with the tragic news. The boy attended Gonzales Scholastic Academy on the south side. He was a second grader there. Julian's principal said he was a special child. He was such a sweet, sweet child. Everybody loved him. Um, just very angelic and uh, very gentle child, very sensitive. Special teams were brought in to help students and teachers deal with the news today. Services for Julian King, Darnell Donerson, and Jason Hudson are still being worked out. Jennifer Hudson's aunt owns a funeral home and says that they will handle the arrangements for the family.